I have just built another PC here in Arc Linux D ISO and um, I'm testing actually something out for Vivaldi, but since it's here, let's make a tutorial also for um, SDDM. That's something we were discussing about. What if we want to uh, use Plasma, not with LightDM, but SDDM? So that's one thing. Um, plasma is the next one, minus S Plasma. So get the pieces of your Lego blocks thing. We have a smaller version than the Breeze version because the Breeze package requires a lot of K stuff, so a lot of systems from Plasma. So putting that on our ISO is a little bit silly just to have a cursor. That's why we have this X cursor thing. But since we're now moving to Plasma, you get rid of the, un the other one. So the small Lego block to have a cursor and now we get everything in the complete enchilada like they say for Plasma. Um, so that was an, um, a tip on Discord saying, look, um, take a look at Plasma. When you install Plasma with SDDM, uh, LightDM, will that change maybe the sizes in, in the menu and notifications, things like that. It might be just possible that the things are interfering and that Plasma is of course built for SDDM. It's part of its operating system or its uh, design to fit well together. So, what do you know? Trial and error, that's what I always say. You have to try it out to know it. And indeed, another video how to build something from scratch. And we do not get anything Arco Linux related in. So this is still very version. Now, <coughs> I can reboot, but nothing will be launched. I need something to launch it, enable, Eric. Enable what? I can enable a lot of stuff, 160 stuff I can enable, but inside there is somewhere SDDM service. Do you see it in the third column? So it's always a service you need to launch, LightDM, SDM, and there are a few others as well. It says fail to enable it, and there exists already something. Don't worry, minus F force the guy. Create symlink. Done. So remember the minus force. SR or sudo reboot for the long version if you're on Arch Linux. Phase 5. And this is what we get straight out of the box. And now it's time for you to develop more and um, theme more because SDDM does not look very nice. It's quite old school, the standard one. And there's just one drop down, of course, layout and US. And okay, this is the look of SDDM. And that's one of the reasons I don't like it in the sense it's on the to-do list when we have the time maybe make our own Arch Linux SDM, SDDM version. So here you have a different kind of look. Let's have a look. The menu it still seems a bit, uh, well, more or less the same size. I think we end up as well up here. So one of the things on SDDM in uh, Plasma is that some of the people complain that this is rather large and stuff like that. So the only option we have is either go very large, application dashboard, but this maybe reminds you of an other particular system that has also uh, this kind of look, or the other one which I personally prefer, prefer to switch to is to this one, which makes it a little bit more smaller and uh, very small indeed in this one. But of course in Arch Linux we have more software, so it's a little bit over here, I think. So that's um, your goal. Well, there is no software, right? Maybe it's interesting to see. I just typed Plasma. So what do you get with Plasma? You get Cuttlefish, Plasma Engine Power. Sublime Text is because we need to develop. So Sublime Text is there on the ISO because we always need to work on the ISO, the configs and so on. So it's there to uh, do our work, a tool to do our work. She parted the same thing. It's interesting in the Calamaris that you have the G parted there. So you can, uh, if, if Calamaris crashes, you just go to G parted, delete all the, everything and start with a clean slate, delete, erase all partitions on your hard disk, whatever you've been fiddling and changing and all kinds of formats. G parted is your, your sweep everything clean and then you can start Calamaris and it will work. Termite is there for us. So basically this is not very much, uh, which um, even does not include 
a file manager there is no file manager in here there is no dolphin um, there is no console so things like that um, browser we have no browser whatsoever do we have actually have a terminal <laughs> would be nice if we would have a terminal well the only one is the one that we provide well um, where did I find them termites is the only one luckily termite is there because console is not there so how do we proceed let's say we stay graphical we could go to the uh, TTY, right? Control Alt F1, F2, F3, F4. These guys, not F1, but the rest, right? So the Pac-Man minus S Firefox. Learn. And everything to learn, your university to learn from is online. And I'm not referring to myself as a uh, website from Arc Linux. I am referring to the Arch Wiki. What if I want to have more than just this plasma thing? Because it seems I'm missing quite a lot of stuff. So Arch Linux Plasma is what I would do and see if I can find some more information. KDE Plasma, right? And they say here, there is also the Plasma and the Plasma Meta Group. And okay, Plasma Desktop Group is a more minimal installation. You can have this reference for a package group maybe we can actually that's the explanation you go read this is an interesting one this is a group detail if i say sudo pacman minus s i get this now i'm wondering if i say plasma meta am i getting something more than am i getting extra things ah it's a we can't analyze here oh we can, no, we can't. Dependencies is something else. That's something else, no. So the content is unfortunately not there. I will have, I will give it one more goal. Control C, Control V, group. Uh huh. okay enough time wasted so let's see if we can do a plasma meta i think it was right and that does not give us anything else installing plasma meta so it gives us nothing more so i'm wondering what was the one again with um all the data for dolphin well sorry to say but i'll go to my own <laughs> Linux D. Well, actually, Linux B, GitHub, everything is there. All the information is online to make your own Plasma version. And at the bottom of Arch ISO of the files, way down there, I can do use this as my cheat sheet. KDE application, uh, applications Control C. So let's see. Maybe it is in the somewhere. Control V. Uh -huh. I had to read a little bit on. It's down here. To install the full set of KDE applications, install this one or this one, the meta package. So I was close, very close indeed. So console Kate is here. Kate is here. Console, console, where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Still down there. Copete console. That's our KDE terminal emulator. So basically, I have still a very minimal uh, plasma, and maybe you would like to keep it that way. That's that's great. Um, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit empty. So KDE something. Maybe we should remember KDE and then press tab and see if we get something in here. There are also other meta packages for accessibility and applications, I believe. A good time now, if I remember correctly, is to go to the minimal version of Arco Plasma. But at some because of some time I, I looked it up and said, okay, what kind of packages do we have to play around? So the Lego box you want to install or not. And here's some stuff. In the minimal, I don't get this one. I do get that one. I don't get this one. I do get that one. 
no environment and development stuff. So I made some decisions, no games and stuff. So there are group or meta packages in here where you, um, what you can select or deselect and um, get in what you want to get in. Um, I have to go back. Uh, what was it called again? So we show you what's inside of those. This command here. So the menu will change. It's this one that I need. Applications meta. Let's see if it's in here. It's KDE applications meta. So try to remember all that. But it's stored in scripts. Not so I'm, I do not have to remember. It's 669 download size, 2.3 gigabytes. Plasma has never been a uh, small little operating system. It's always been a big desktop environment. And there you go. In the meantime, let's have some fun. Let's look around in the settings. Let's see at this one, global themes. And go for a breeze dark and have some fun there. And plasma style, application styles. If you make it a little bit bigger, then it won't jump in. You see, like so. Colors, fonts, icons, emoticons, cursors. And all this information uh, is available. We can change to the breeze light. So it's the same as the breeze snow, uh, just a different name, I guess. Apply, so we see, apply, come on. All right, so white. Workspace behavior. Uh, some things that bugged me, maybe show that you that as well. The wobbly <clears throat> is not on. It's not even there. How is that possible? Well, exclude unsupported effects, exclude internal effects. If you do that, the wobbly is there. So, hey, it took a little bit of time to figure that out in for, at first, right? Um, what else? The, the keyboard is always a misery. Input devices, keyboard, the turn it on, umlock on Plasma startup. I was always shouting, why is numlock not in? Why is numlock not on? That's why. Okay, let's have a look at the menu and maybe one last thing and just to show the desktop, another wallpaper would be nice. Any wallpaper, as long as it's another one. So <clears throat> what have we installed now? We can compare with the beginning of the video, translation stuff, web development. I'm not going to read it all, but you read with me, umbrella is there don't think i've i clicked on any of the of on all of the applications <laughs> some of them yeah <laughs> certainly all the games you know i'm not a particular good gamer well i'm not actually a gamer internet just firefox here but the rest came along as well so there's conqueror multimedia dragon player stuff i would like to prefer my VLC, but that's the fun in Linux. You choose whatever you want. And the Arch Linux D and Arch Linux B is choose whatever you want. Either you make scripts, Arch Linux D, either you build an ISO, Arch Linux B. And the Arch Linux ISO, that's just for starters to get to know Arch Linux. And of course, for us, it's our setup. It's what we choose as a operating system to work on all the time. So you choose your thing. Either you join us on Arch Linux ISO, what we call the big ISO, and at some point in time you say, okay, moving on, Arch Linux D, moving on, Arch Linux B. So that's the look, that's what we have. That's Plasma, it's still Arch Linux, it's just uh, the Plasma version, but we have just done Arch Linux D and installed anything Arch Linux, uh, sorry, yeah, Correct, correct. Anything Arch Linux. What I now want to do is eventually Control-Alt-T is not working. It's it's not programmed. It's already programmed in Arch Linux um, Plasma, but it's not here. 
So this is Dolphin, right mouse click. I can have some actions here, open a terminal, stuff like that. This is gone, the sidebar is gone. Everything has been tweaked already when you install Arch Linux. Just wanted to show that you can actually stop here with anything Arch Linux or you can just continue. And this gives me the opportunity, uh, no, this gives me the opportunity to continue the lesson I started a few videos ago, sorry, is that we can install the Plasma um, desktop related stuff. That's this, Arch Linux Plasma, Git. Arch Linux BSP WM, Git. Arch Linux XFC, Git. That's all desktop related stuff. And either you have the, the stable version, what I would call, and what we beta test with. So anything we try out is in this one and everything that's that standard that's going on the ISO is that one. And there are two things to be to that you can do to get in, and that's the Plasma Git and the Dconf. And the Dconf is a kind of database. Some of the applications write their settings in there. Not sure uh, if Plasma needs anyone. I, I even think it's um, empty if I recall correctly. So I'm going to go to my other screen. I'm gonna go down here. As always, this is, and uh, this you can get as well on your computer. It's uh, bit.ly bit slash Arco Get Started 3. You just Google it on arcolinux.com, you'll find it. Just want to check if it's empty or not. I think in Plasma, I did not feel it made sense, any sense to get in something in there. So I just put a text in here and says, okay, we add the deconf if we need one. Right, so we're just trying out uh, on the Plasma. Do we need actually deconf? Is it being used by any of our applications that we provide? And if it is, well, we'll start adding the deconf, but let's try with a clean slate and see what we need. So basically deconf kit is empty. So I don't need to, that one, but maybe you'd like to have this one, Arcolix Plasma kit. So, that's our settings, 0 0.14 megabytes installed. It's nothing, but it's a lot of time and, and work that went into all figuring out all these settings. Okay, so a scale and a scale and a scale is there. Maybe a backup scale, so you have a reference for later. And super X, not gonna work. We get this, yeah. All the keyboard shortcuts are not working. We restart, warning close and still on SDDM so we'll see this greeter or, or display manager or login manager all good words the thing that launches plasma later on right buttons up here and there we go Suddenly we have Yakuake F12, right? We have settings that are not correct. So it should be Saudi icons, but it's not the first time this happened with Plasma. It takes time, it seems, to adapt its systems. It's, it's super difficult to actually uh, get everything you like on the ISO. So I'm not so. Um, I'm not afraid that this happens. That's normal, I would say. But um, a refresh desktop is maybe an option. There is also another option. Uh, I believe it's some command, but I don't know anymore. So I'm gonna restart. Let's see if something kicks in. If not, uh, it's all for naught. So our configuration does not reach the system. It does not override the current settings and we have to do it manually. So that's the deal. With When you run it in Arch Linux B, you'll see it just applies. It's just a beautiful Arch Linux uh, B ISO. Don't think I have one lying around here. So let me get one and show you what the normal Arch Linux B version is. And let's pause here. Um, a what if popped in my head. What if? This is VirtualBox, so who cares, right? 
what if I do the following? This is, by the way, Control alt t Oh, yeah, those guys are there. So the keyboard shortcuts he got, but he didn't get the, the look, right? So let's help him. Control h that's working. Here's the config folder. I really don't care what's going to happen. I delete the config totally. Trash, empty trash, right? I do Control t I do my scale and do sudo reboot. And I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. You saw the files coming up there? Did you see all the files just before I shut down? That was the scale. I'm wondering, what if I start with a clean slate again? That if Plasma gets what I want to do, I want to apply new settings. I click settings. Since it works, works on Arch Linux B, it should in sense work on this as well. But that's Plasma for you. It does not. It does not. So still a lot to learn about this Plasma system. That's for sure. So the system settings, what should I have been? Uh, yeah, um, I think we take another theme. <laughs> I don't know if we have a breeze, have to think about it. But uh, icons, Eric. How stupid can you be? Icons. Oh yeah, there is Sardi Arc, Arc icons. It should, should have taken this one. Should have been this. Right? And that's typical again Plasma. Not uh, amazed again or not surprised, that's a better word. Here it works. <laughs> and here it doesn't work. And here it works. And here it doesn't work. I'm not surprised at all. So log out, often that's enough to log out and log in. It just feels like well, you're a new when you're working with Plasma. So why is this not working? This is how we get our uh, system. And it must admit, but of course it's a lot of more, a lot more software uh, on here. That is, this is higher, right? This is much higher than its uh, counterpart from Arch Linux. Well, without Arch Linux config. So if I do a, not a try, not a try, sudo pacman minus r Arch Linux, and you get rid of Arch Linux Plasma. It's now no longer in the ETC scale. So if I do a scale, there is nothing Right, to copy paste, well, a bit, not nothing, a bit to copy paste. So when I delete everything again, if they let me, could not rename, Control Alt, delete, and where is it stuck? On this one is it stuck, Control Alt, delete. Only one reference, and what is he writing? The trash RC. So when I do a scale, Things are moving. When I do a scale, command not found. <laughs> Clearly, etc scale. So in here is a lot of stuff. We get that stuff. Oh, it's just a neofetch. That's it. Nothing more. And a bash and a bash RC. So if we get these guys, Control C to the home. Control V. Um, apply to all, write in two, and this one is ours. Okay, so it's working. I suppose a scale is out of the question. No, it's working the scale now. So that's brand new. This is all completely new. We had a look. We still have the look, even though all our settings are deleted. And when we log out, when we log out, I guess we need to do it the hard way. Sudo reboot. Doesn't know it. Sudo reboot. Let's see what happens. What will Plasma take? It will create its own uh, configuration files again from scratch. 
except the ones that we have uh, still have in ETC scale, which is nothing, NeoFetch, uh, some Bash RC stuff. So he can't know how Plasma should look, so he's going to take his own standard look. And we're back to square one, which is also maybe interesting to know how to start again with a clean slate after all the experimenting. Because I want to see if this thing is a little bit smaller, you see? I think we were up here with the folders and here it's a little bit smaller. It is though, right? A centimeter or two? I'll check in the video later on. But I do believe with these icons that uh, it's a little bit lower. Now, let's make the video even another what if. What if you want to get rid of SDDM? and start to have using a light EM. So get one Lego block out and get the other one in. All right, um, pseudo pacman minus S. Light EM is the word. Light DM is the word. So that's one thing. Now, the standard light EM GTK greeter is not nicer than this SDM thing. So we made our own. And that's maybe something you should get in Arch Linux. LightEM GTK greeter and the settings maybe, but the settings is not that important, right? So that's the way to set it with an application. So that's one thing. Another thing is the LightEM greeter is pointing to a nice wallpaper to have a nice look. So we need to have our own wallpapers in, otherwise it won't be nice at all. Now, is it still going to start SDM, yeah sure because you you told it to you have not told lightm to start so sudo system enable lightm that should be enabled and then it says fail to enable unit because there is already one of course so there is a link inside this folder go have a look inside that folder etc system d system display manager already exists and it's pointing to a file on your system D to launch SDDM. Wrong. It needs to launch minus F force launch LightDM. It's now linking to LightDM service. You see? That's what we wanted to achieve. SDM out, LightDM in, SR, sudo reboot. And this is what's so fun in Arch Linux. This is what at some point in time I got the magic the feeling that this was all so flexible so versatile so so many things could could change and it was actually not that difficult everybody said Arch Linux is difficult and yes I get that in the beginning I threw it away I couldn't install it uh, because well you need to get through the phases of all these uh, installation things and partition and all that that was a little bit much but once you or past the hurdle of installation, you get the idea, oh, that's looking nice and so on, all right? So I just wanted to use LightDM. I don't think this is bigger than uh, SDDM, as was suggested on, uh, on Discord, that this thing would be bigger. So it's more the, not the SDM thing, and not the LightDM thing, but it's more an Arc Linux thing with all the icons we choose and all the, software we have i suppose where plasma says it needs to be a little bit bigger so solution for now until we figure well i've made a video how to make it smaller by the way uh, it has to be somewhere on the internet and maybe let's search for it and, and and there so if you really think i want to have the other menu but a little bit smaller i do believe there is a video wow youtube Arco Linux mm, Plasma Menu Small I think we better Google YouTube, well, search YouTube. Stop search so plasma plasma 
a menu. Harkonnen is better to put that as well. Here's another video how to install Plasma on Arclinx D. So basically what we did, 519, we're now at 1200. That's where we at. And then related to your search. I'm afraid I need to go and have a look what it is. Well, I've been looking and probably with the wrong words. I didn't find it, but uh, maybe I'm doubting already. Did I actually put a video on out there? Because a rather technical it was actually um, going inside Plasma code and fixing a line ink inside code. And that's something as a general rule I, I keep out of. But you can change it, uh, find the way how to do it. But now I'm telling it to you. I really think I did not make a video about because the, just about the fact that um, I really want to keep out of other people's work, like the Plasma code core code somewhere hidden in a user library, things like that. I'll just keep out of that. So that's um, another well way to look at things. I hope um, it was uh, instructful and in, uh, you can learn something from this and that um, you get more and more the feeling that anything goes, uh, changing things from LightM, SDM and switch back and all that. Uh, menus that change, um, it's all good, whatever you like to install, it's super, it's fast, it's responsive, um, change anything you see, anything you like, we've been deleting stuff, intentionally deleting complete config, everything is still working, everything is just fine, um, of course, um, if it's gonna be on a, on a real computer, just make sure you do this, you do it. this is something personally I don't like, Go one click and then you're inside and we have 15 desktops and just this one is different right so right mouse click copy and control v paste it other way of showing uh, normally we say control v and it says copy one or something like that here we have to actually name the thing so do it like this always have a copy around experiment a lot use melt melt is not in here unless you add something in here. It's also explained on a video. But what I like to do is, and maybe <laughs> let's, end, let's end with that. <clears throat> Sorry, so much to tell. I get always tuner in. I want tuner on every of our desktops. Why it's super? No, it's not because it's super. Yes, and it is super. But we've created a lot of extra stuff for XFCE tuner. Uh, XFC Git, this is the new name. I have to remind that as well. It used to be XFC Tuner. Why? Because it writes this and there. All the XFC stuff. And it's this stuff that we've been working on very hard. Okay, I'll show you. Scale. So that's here. Tuner is here as well. Tuner, where are you? That is Tuner File Manager. Add to the desktop panel. Pinned, pinned to the Task Manager. Apply. There she is, or is it he? And then we have here all the custom configure custom actions. I they are so part of my workflow, all these things um, that I really want to have them around, like Control H. Okay, sorry, I'm not the one last thing. <laughs> Mine is this. Mel just having fun, teaching is fun. All right, we have Melt, and now I can do this compare and what's different well what's different is that tunar is installed now do I want to keep tunar for next time around maybe I would so copy to the right okay hide auto start clip man plugin no don't want to have it but actually it's coming from a well file that you just installed Here's the deconfuser, you see? So it is available, it is there on your system. It's not because of us. It's just coming from uh, applications that we installed. Any of these guys can be um, writing to a deconf. Um, don't wanna see the same, so you get rid of this one. XFC is new, copy to the right. Next time around, I'll have it. Dolphin RC, that is the setting. 
and that's your setting it's just some properties and a version number so not nothing special you can keep it and plasma work thingy uh, to another desktop is is there as a new thing and that's it so you keep the things you like that's the original one that's the copy put everything you like and you want to keep for the next time around and the config backup goes on github goes on dropbox goes on anywhere usb hard disk and so on and you have your own settings and you put them back that is the idea of keeping a config backup around if there is a scale you just put everything back after don't do it every day scale right just do it once a week maybe once a month even uh, and then go and have a look what's the difference because you're fine without it most of the time you're just fine it might be that we're using a different kind of um do it an f12 oh sorry <laughs> pressed another button here f12 is not working no yakuake is not there um so what was i going to say i don't know what i was going to say anyway it's time for me to call today um, i can keep on talking and talking and that's not the idea experiment 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 do it first on virtualbox play around and then you say okay let's do it now on real machine and um, see if i got it all right enjoy